What's going on, guys? And welcome to Rabbits Use Cars. Hang on, let me turn this around. We don't plug for free. Anyway, welcome to Rabbits Use Cars. I want to tell you something. You know what? We're going to plug because you know what? That's a good cup of coffee, and it actually brings me into what we're talking about today. It's so funny how I'm a sucker for good customer service. And the thing is, if you treat me right in a deal, I am probably one of the most loyal customers you will ever meet. And that's with anything in business with me. And that's why I always try to do the same thing. I always want people to come back. Matter of fact, the man that bought a truck from me last week, he ended up buying another car. The man that bought this truck, he's buying another car from me. That good customer service, that good feeling, you know, that's what you want to pass on. You know, when when they're ready to go buy something else, don't call my old buddy Rabbit up. Well, when I'm ready to buy something, I got people that I deal with. And that's what I'm talking about today. I love good salespeople because it's a dying art. It really is, you know, we are swimming in a sea of one price shopping, which is the devil. Second, you know, point and click. You know, you got to think about it. I was selling cars before there was an internet. And, and, I, and I love what technology and has brought. But in the same token, I think it's took away a lot also. I love, love the thrill, that shuck and jive. Rhyme time. Let's crunch some numbers. Let's talk options. Let me paint a mental picture. I love it. I love it. I love figuring this person out, what they like, get them laughing. I love it. I want to hear about their old lady. I want to hear about the girlfriend, whatever. I want, I want to hear all this. I want to hear about your bratty ass kids. I want all this stuff. Like that's, that's, that's what I love. You know, it's just that human interaction. You know, you can't do that through a keyboard. You just can't. And it just gets lost in the technology. But back to the story, I love Cadillacs. Anybody's been on this channel for just a few minutes knows that. And, you know, I have a certain Cadillac dealership that I deal with that I have never gotten anything but the best hands down customer service. And it's not even here in Greenville. That's the crazy part. I actually leave. And I'm a, I'm a big support my community kind of guy. But when it's, when it's time for me to buy a Cadillac, where I go, and, and 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 this is not a direct plug. You know, classic Cadillac in Atlanta. Billy, Tommy, all the boys down there. I love them. I love those guys down there. You know, Atlanta's my town, obviously. But I love it. I love going down there. I love you know talking to everybody and catching up. But that customer service you just don't get. And there's certain dealerships they're just better than others. And I want to tell you something. I love Greenville, and I mean we got we got a Cadillac dealership, and it's not bad. But it's nothing like classic in Atlanta. And that's the thing you got to understand. You know, I don't mind driving out of my way to get that good customer service. You know, the cars that they sell are no different than the cars these guys sell. But I love dealing with them because, and it's not even necessarily like I'm getting a better deal. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I think I got a fair deal on what I did. But at the end of the day, it's just that customer service. These guys know you. I was talking to them this morning on the way in. I'd be liking that new Cadillac. Love it. How's mama liking hers? Love it. And you're like, what? Bought two Cadillacs in one swap. Coming down from one, end up with two. We sit down with Billy. Well, as we're sitting in the showroom, Billy was grabbing a cup of coffee or something, and there's two Cadillac V's sitting there. Velocity red and a cocaine white. I walk over there while mom's sitting in the glass office. Hell, I just walk over and just look at well, Tom, the sales manager, comes walking out. He goes, Rabbit, what are you doing? I said, we're trying to get, trying to get Mama in a new car. Now, you might have Max didn't sell one today. Get your heart right. He goes, oh, you know we'll always do you right. And I'm like, I'm sure you will. And he goes, that's what you need right there. And I said, you're damn right. That's my flavor. And uh, I said, you know, I got a, got a weakness for fast caddies. I'm looking at them. Good-looking car. Every option you throw at them. Two cars are virtually identical. Um, the only thing that's really funny is one has heads-up display, no one doesn't. And something about me, I hate heads-up display with a with a passion. I don't like it. I always 
literally run it all the way down or turn it off. I, I just, I can look at the speedometer. I don't need all that. My mother loves it. She thinks that's the neatest thing ever. Of course, granted, she grew up in the Star Wars days too, so maybe that's why she likes that shit. We're sitting there and she goes, what are those two Cadillacs over there? I said, there's a V. I said, it's kind of like what you're looking at, but faster. She's like, a little sportier. She goes, I like sporty. The second time I've heard this, I like sporty. So she gets up and walks over. My 63-year-old mother. Now, keep in mind, my 63-year-old mother's a little different. You know, keep in mind, she's had 427, she had her 2013 60th anniversary 427 vet. So, several six-speed vets before that. She even had a six-speed C4, which is a story for another time. But she walks over and she goes, I know what you like. I know you like this red one. And she said, I kind of like it too. I mean, this thing's fire engine red. I mean, it's just, this Cadillac is redder than a fox's ass. Not, not burgundy, not dark red, fire truck red. Maybe it's the trailer park in me. I just like it. And well, you know, old mom was there with me too because she liked it too. So I said, mama, you know. Well, Tom walks back out. He sees us both over there. He goes, Miss Pitts, we can pull this thing out and you can drive it. So they do. Needless to say, huge performance difference between these two cars and price difference. She zips the road. She said, this thing's badass. And hell, I kind of wanted to drive it too, so I drove it back. We pulled in. She sat down. She said, I don't know what I'll do. She said, I probably would just get the CT4. And I said, Mama, you get one trip through this life. And I said, you know, you done outlive one husband. And I said, you know, if you're going to go out and do daddy shopping, this is, this is probably going to be that. She said, no, probably, you know, I ain't like that. I said, well, if you just change your mind, I'm just saying. And I said, you know, that three-mile ride to work you take every day is going to be a lot more fun than a 400-horsepower Cadillac. She said, it's kind of neat, sporty, adjustable suspension, open the exhaust up, all touchscreen. You know, the old gauges glow real bright red with a V and the big red calipers. She said, I like that red one. I said, you like it? I said, let's buy it. Sit down to Billy Brown. I said, Billy, we had a little change in plans. I took the paperwork literally for the CT4, crumbled it up through a trash can. I said, let's work a deal on that one. But I got something else. I said, I want the white one beside it. My mom looks at me like I'm crazy. I said, they gave me great trade-in on mom's car. Didn't even give it a second look. Literally, he said, we can give you this. Done, you bought it. And I said, now, just like I said in the video before, what's the bottom line? Both Cadillacs out the door. They came back, and I literally turned it right back around and said, you're going to try again. That's when Tom comes in. Of course, Tom's grabbing his ass when I'm done. But still, I'm there for I'm there to get the, the best deal that I can get. And, you know, obviously a fair deal for them. They're not going to let you steal them from them, I promise you. No matter how much they let you let on like they did. No, they, they are great guys. We went back and forth just a little bit. Next thing you know, we hemmed a deal together. And me and my mother have matching V Cadillacs now. And uh, it's weird. I usually don't like white cars. I love the white on mine. No heads up display. Mom's got her trailer park, hot rod, bright red V. And uh, I love it. She absolutely loves her cars. And I'm going to tell you something. I love dealing with that dealership. Just like I was telling you, I was talking to Billy Brown this morning. He called, just check in, you know, and understand, you know, we, we did table touch soft calls back in the day. I mean, it's, it's part of the business. But there's a difference in reading a pre, pre-programmed card. So, Mr. Blah, 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 insert name here. How do you feel about your new Cadillac purchase? Now, Billy's like, what's going on, wow, man? How was that hot date? How's that Cadillac working out for you? You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the thing that I love. You know, he said, keep doing what you're doing. We love videos around here. And, and that's the thing. That's the difference. So that's good customer service. And that's what's going to keep you coming back. So when I'm going to get my next new Cadillac, or my mother's next new Cadillac, or whoever wants a brand new Cadillac, what's old rabbit going to tell them? Follow me. Follow me, kids. Classic Cadillac in Atlanta. Talk to Billy Brown. He is the man in Atlanta to sell cataracts. Guys, thanks for playing along. We'll catch you next time at Rabbit Shoes Cars. Think I might get me a new ride while I'm going. Guys, thanks for 